it can't be. It's just... It's just a basement. <sighs> a dead end. Huh? Greetings, young one. Ah! What is this? Shh! What? Shh! And greetings again. What a glorious fate that has brought you to this den. Oh, um, thank you? Tis so long I have waited in the dust and the gloom for your ill-fated arrival to me in this room. You knew I was coming? Indeed, my dear Anna, for I see far and wide. The witch used me to find you. You had no place to hide. Oh, but where are my manners? Since now you've come hither, I have no name to greet you by, though you may call me Mirror. Well then, hello Mirror. Pleased to meet you. A pleasure, dear Anna. A pleasure indeed. Please, ask me your questions, for I have answers you need. Do you know a way out of this tower? I worked so hard to get down here, and it's just a dead end. Ah yes, the quest you have taken has indeed become dire. Fear not, for the answer lies within an object acquired. With me? I don't understand. Look, I'm sorry. I appreciate the help. I just don't understand these rhymes. You're only getting me confused, and... and... I'm just so worried about Grandpa. I miss him so much. Come now, dear girl. Please not be afraid. To help people like you, tis why I was made. Watch closely now, for I travel far to bring you the image of your beloved Grandpa. Really? Grandpa! Oh no, he looks even worse than before. I cannot create lies. Tis the truth I must speak. And the tragic truth is with each day he grows weak. What can I do, Mirror? Where do I need to go? Through the witch's dark woods over the east cliffs of snow lies the lonely village of Wunderhorn far down below. Within here these quarters lives a magician of heart pure. Find him, dear Anna, and you shall find your cure. A cure? I knew it! The village of Wunderhorn. Thank you, Mirror. Really, I can't thank you enough. But let's not be hasty. You must first take heed. You cannot simply escape for protection you still need. How did you say I find a way out? You say it's something I have? Ah yes, the quest you have taken has indeed become dire. Fear not, for the answer lies with- With me? Wait, you don't mean the spell book, do you? Indeed, it is needed a crucial element of escape. But the path you must travel still needs to take shape. Protection? What do you mean? The witch, you see, she'll never resign. Wherever you go, she will hunt down your mind. So what do I do? Once the path to escaping has been found and revealed, you must fashion a spell that will act as your shield. And that's in this spell book, right? Turn to page 44, and there you shall read of the spell with such strength that you will meet your need. It is an amulet you cast it on and wear from henceforth. Then all the tricks from the witch can simply be ignored. Oh, let's see. Hmm. Wait, 
all these ingredients. A raven's feather, a strand of hair from the one you need protection from, a blessing from the dead over the cauldron they are in, then I need to heat them to a boil together, and then I need to dip in an amulet charged by the moon. Mirror, how am I going to find all those things here? Rest assured, dear girl, in this tower, these are strewn. Well, you can see everything, right? Can't you just tell me where to find them? Oh, I'm afraid I cannot. I have assisted all I can. The rest of the way is for you now to plan. <sighs> Somehow I had a feeling you might say something like that. Can I reverse the spell on Ben? I think he used to be a boy before the witch kidnapped him, and... Indeed, the poor child, poor victim of fate. A destiny strife with much death, fear, and hate. What? What? Death? Is Ben going to be okay? I want to help him, not put him in danger. It is certain that sorrow is within the boy's tale, but your help, I can assure, will be of avail. Hmm... I suppose I see. I'm going to keep looking. I still have a while to go before I can get away from here. Indeed, brave child. I'll be here when you're stuck. With your search, though, I wish you the best of luck. Thank you, Mirror. For everything. stuck fast. Hmm. If this is where all the spell scraps end up, who knows what we could find down there? Mm. Ugh! This place stinks! It looks like the witch's dumping ground. Everything looks like leftovers of spells, witchcraft, and... people. I can't reach that. get it out of the ooze from way up here. <laughs> Perfect shot. All right, easy does it. A bit goopy, but I still got it. Which book should I have a look at? Guide to Evil Pets. Aha! This is what I need. The Common Raven. It is not uncommon to find raven nests within rooftops or rafters of cabins and houses. Ravens who have settled down, however, become extremely territorial and aggressive in nature. This is all the more reason why they make an ideal pet for any evil persons. Party tricks. What does the witch want with party tricks? Looks kind of fun though. Some neat tricks in here. see. Nothing up my sleeve. And... presto! Oh wow! It worked! There! Done! This should work nicely as an escape rope. Oh, 
open this door right now. Yuringo? Are you there? Hi again, Anna. Yuringo, you lied to me. There's no passageway, just a basement. Okay, okay. Just hear me out. In the basement, Winfrieda has something to untrap me. Well, it's a plain gold ring. My wedding ring, actually. The thing is, <laughs> I... I kind of don't know where it is exactly. But I know Winfrieda keeps it downstairs. Please, I, I beg you, uh, find my ring and bring it to me. All right, I'll find it. I just need a little help too now. I'm going to try to make a spell, a protection spell. And apparently I need to have the cauldron downstairs blessed by the dead. Y yeah, yes, sure, I'll do that. Just get the ring, okay, Anna? You have to find it. Yuringo? Are you there? Hi again, Anna. I better get back to looking around. See if I can find the- Alright, Anna. I'll be here if you need anything. Open this door right now. Yuringo? Are you there? Hi again, Anna. I found it, Yuringo. Is that... could it be? Let me see. Ho hold it out for me. I... I, I don't believe it. I'm free. Yay! That's great, Yuringo. Yurinde! I, I have to go find Yurinde. But, um... Do you mind just helping me quickly with the cauldron? My little nightingale, oh my silent dove! Your Yuringo will find you and save you from this wretched place! Um, yes, but Yuringo? The cauldron? Fear not, my nightingale! I'm coming now! Yuringo? Please wait! Yuringo? Great! Thanks a lot, Yuringo! How am I going to find someone to bless the cauldron? Hmm... According to the layout of the house here, there used to be a chimney going down into my bedroom, above the table in the corner. If the witch patched up the roof where the chimney was, I wonder... Maybe it's weak enough for me to break through it. Mm. Ah! <laughs> yes! This is it! Our way out! Just one small problem, though. How am I going to get up there? Aha! If I swing it around and get enough momentum, I should be able to throw it all the way through. Alright, here goes. Machines, and is that a dragon? Poor little thing. What's the witch doing to him? You want to come with me? I'm escaping. I'm not sure he knows what to do with himself now. All right, come on then. Don't worry. You're safe with me now. This couldn't have worked out any better. The paperweight's buried into the ground down the bottom. Oh, look. There's the witch, straight down below on this side. 
She's so close. I'm lucky she didn't see the handkerchief, Jane. This is it. The way out. Once this protection spell is ready, we can finally get out of here. Okay, I'll just rest it up here. Neat! So, an amulet charged by the moon. Let's see if this works. Oh, pretty! It's all blue and glowing now. I guess that means it's charged. I'll just leave it as it is. Hmm... If I'm not mistaken, that spot should be right around the bird's nest. Mm, perfect! That bird's feather is as good as mine. Oh dear. Okay, okay. Jeez. Touchy little fellow. too happy about seeing another bird on his roof. At least he's distracted now. All right, here's my chance. Easy does it, Anna. Just reach up, pluck one out. Ah, I'm sorry. I think I better get out of here. I don't think he was very impressed by that, but hey, I got a raven's feather for the spell now. Hmm. Well, it does say it's non-toxic. Alright, little fella, you hungry? Some, uh, yummy paraffin? Whoa, he really gobbled that up. I think he's ready to start blowing out fire somewhere. So cute! He's such a cute little guy. So cute! I suppose this is here to wash the dishes with. So far though, it seems every dish I've used is just stacked up there. Wait, I think I can see something down inside the sink's drain. I think it's... It's... Ew. It's just some old soggy hair. Must be the witches. I need that for the spell, too. It's really far down, though. This might be tricky. Open this door right now. There's a section of pipe here that looks pretty loose. I could probably take this off to try and get that hair out. I don't see any point in holding on to this pipe, though. That should stop any water from coming through now. No, the sink drain is too small to fit my hand in. Well... It worked. All the hair is floated to the top. <sighs> so, so gross. 